Hi, I'm glad you decided to take a few minutes to just look at this information. And once you look at the information, hopefully you'll realize how important it is. And just like it says, this is what every business and individual needs, thinking into results. So let me just share a little bit of information with you. You see, my mentor, Bob Proctor, says that it's time to transform dreams into realities, your goals into achievements, and your thinking into results. And he has helped me so much to realize what I need to know about myself and what I've learned through him is that you can accomplish so much more than we ever believe that we can. And he says, if you want something more out of life but aren't sure what it is, if you've tried to make changes in the past but without success, if you have a specific goal but don't know how to achieve it, the incredible news is you can get anything that you seriously want guaranteed. And that's exactly what this whole process of thinking and results helps you to do. It helps you to understand that there is more out there to life than what most people do. Most people just kind of wander through life hoping to make it safely from birth to death. And when they their heart stops beating, it just becomes a mere formality. And we don't want that to happen to us. And we don't want to get to the end of our lives and say, gee, I wonder if, Ida only. And so when you work with Thinking Results and with myself and Bob Proctor, you will learn that there is so much more you can do. And you can have anything that you truly want in life, guaranteed. So in the one lesson we have in thinking results, it's called the knowing and doing gap. And in the knowing and doing gap, it's basically we know what to do, and yet we don't do it. And it seems like the more that we learn, the less we seem to do. And it causes so much frustration in people. And so becoming aware of why this happens to you helps so much. So if you know where you are and you know where you want to go, then that's a huge help. But so often we know where we are, we know where we want to go, but yet we never go towards it. And it seems really simple, doesn't it? And yet so many people are stuck. So many businesses are stuck. So many business teams of people are stuck. And when that happens, it's all because of the paradigms. The paradigms that we hold in our subconscious mind. You see, if we look at the paradigms, paradigms are mental programs that have almost exclusive control over our habitual behavior. And almost everything we do in life is habitual. And if we don't know why we're doing things and we just do them automatically, it creates enormous frustration for us. So I want you to meet my friend, the stick figure. And uh, this is something that Bob Proctor uses in every program that he ever does. And, you know, it may seem very simple to you. And the first time I saw it, I thought, are you kidding me? This is what you're showing me? But you know what? Over the past couple years, knowing Bob Proctor and understanding his program, it has made an enormous amount of sense to me. So sometimes something so simple becomes something that you really have to study. But if you just think for me with a minute, for a moment, our mind is in every part of our body. It's not just our brain like most people think. The mind is in every cell of us. So I want you to just imagine with yourself, just to make it simple, that this top circle is your head and is divided into two parts, the conscious and the subconscious, and the bottom part is the body. Now, like I said, the this is not the way the mind is, but we need something to think about because we think in pictures. And so this gives us a picture of the mind. And what I want you to realize is that we live from our senses. So we have all our five senses pulling in information into our conscious mind. And our conscious mind has the ability to accept it or reject those thoughts. But the subconscious mind only accepts. It does not have the ability to reject. So whatever you fill your conscious mind with seeps into your subconscious mind. But we also have these six intellectual faculties that don't get nearly enough work. Our imagination, the most powerful um, fact, faculty we have, and yet so few people use their imagination in the right way. 
our intuition. You see, we're vibrating at a massive speed, and so we pick up on other people's vibration, and they pick up on ours. That's how you know if somebody's feeling good or bad. You can sense that, or if they have a good or bad attitude. You sense it through your intuitive factors. Our memory. Some people say they don't have a good memory. Well, they just haven't exercised it properly. Our perception. Looking at ideas from different points of view can make an enormous difference in how we relate to people and how our work team functions. Reasoning. You know, are we really having good um, reasons for the beliefs that we have or are they irrational? And the will. Your ability to hold an idea in your mind so that you achieve what you want. Now let me just show you something really quick here. <clears throat> you see, when we get an idea, that idea comes from all around us. We're always getting ideas. A lot of people reject those ideas, but there are ideas coming all the time. And your conscious mind can originate that, it can accept it, it can reject an idea. And that's where all the thinking is um, is taking place. That's where the education is taking place. It's in our conscious mind. So we get this idea, and you know, we have these paradigms. Well, the paradigms are stored in the subconscious mind. So that idea rushes into your mind, it hits your paradigm. Now, if it is in total contrast to the paradigm, in total conflict, even though it might be exactly what you want to do, if it's not part of your paradigm, what, the, what a person will do, their body goes into action, but not really because nothing happens and they stay completely stuck because that idea is in conflict with what they know about themselves. In this slide, I want you to realize we have the same thing, but you see that one paradigm is pink because now we've changed our thinking. We've changed that paradigm. So again, conscious mind originates, accepts, or rejects. That's where the thinking takes place. The subconscious mind can only accept. It doesn't distinguish between real and imagined, which is the beauty of the subconscious mind. You can fill it with the idea of what you want. And if you do that enough and you hold it in, the, in your mind enough, you can accomplish whatever it is you want. So here we have this idea again. And that idea is you're thinking about, it's coming into shape, it hits your new paradigm, and because you changed your paradigm, the action that your body goes into now gives you the results that you want. So, if this is making any kind of sense to you, what I want you to do is make sure that you contact me at Patricia Stepler, and you can see the information in the rest of this a uh, letter or different ways to contact me. You can call me at 717-372-2636. You can contact me at patricia at yourdreampower.com. Um, and we can set up a time where I can come over and talk to you to see exactly where you're stuck. And that's all I want to do. There's no strings attached. Just let's have a conversation. We can do it over the phone. We can do it in person. But let's just have that conversation of where you may be stuck and where your team may be stuck or your business may be stuck. And once we start to address that, then you can decide, hey, is thinking results what you need for your business and for yourself? And that'll be a decision you'll have to make. So thank you for taking the time out of your very busy day to watch this video and to learn more about paradigms and how your thinking can keep you stuck. Again, this is Patricia Seppel with Your Dream Power. Make it a wonderful week.